Hi guys, it's T from Betty and Brenda and welcome back to my channel. If you're already a subscriber, if you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and watch me make bath and body products on a weekly basis. Um, I usually put out videos every Saturday, so click that notification bell so you'll know on Saturday when I put out a video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Betty and Brenda Bath Prod. That's Betty and ben Brenda Bath P R O D on both of those. And I upload lots of pictures even before the video is released. I um, also share some little personal facts about my life and on other projects that I'm working on. So definitely follow me on those and say hi once you come over there. So today I am making a soap that I'm going to call Bee's Knees, uh, mainly because it's black and yellow. Personally, I'm not even sure where Bee's Knees came from. If you ever heard the saying, it's the Bee's Knees, I have no idea where that came from. I mean, really, do bees have knees? If you know, put that in the comment section below because honestly, I have no idea. But like I said, the soap is going to be black and yellow. And for the black, I am using activated charcoal. For the yellow, I just got this in. I'd heard wonderful things about this yellow, about it being really true to color. So I am going to give it a try. It is true yellow that I got from TKB. So I'm hoping that it's um, really gonna last after the soap is curing. And for my fragrance, I am using sun-dried cotton from Wholesale Supplies Plus, and it's supposed to not accelerate, um, no rising, but it is supposed to discolor to a light yellow, which is fine since the soap is going to be yellow anyway. So in this bucket, I have my hard oils and butters, which consist of, um, I have some mango butter, I have babasu oil, and then I have cocoa butter. I'm going to do the heat transfer method today. Um, sometimes when it's a rather simple soap, I will just go ahead and do the heat transfer method. And in this bowl, I have all of my liquid oils, which is rice bran oil. I have olive oil, and then I have some castor oil. So I'm going to put my yellow in. I'm going to drop in the black. I'm not going to do any type of special swirl today, so no chopstick swirl. Um, no hanger swirl, I'm just gonna drop it in today. And then I am going to sort of push over the top of some of the color, and you'll see <laughs> what I'm talking about once I do it. And then down a side of it, I am going to put some calendula petals. I don't have that many left, so I'm hoping that it's going to be enough. If not, then I will improvise. And Hopefully you don't hear that in the back, but I'm making some whip soap, so you may hear that on the stove. Forgive me if you do hear that. But I have everything ready. Long sleeve shirt is on. I have my glasses right here. I have my mask. Always put on closed toed shoes and long pants just to make sure that you're safe. And uh, since I got everything together, let's go ahead and make some soap.
Okay guys, so it's been about 24 hours since I have made the soap and I have taken it on the mold, out of the mold, sorry. I already have it on the cutter with the flower side down. And I know yesterday I said that I wasn't going to do a chop swirl. I just wanted to drop the black in just to have a drop swirl. But it's been a minute since I've done the heat transfer method and I forgot that it thickens up a little faster than when you do it the traditional way and so I mix it a little too long and it thickened up on me just a bit and it wasn't dropping down in the soap which is the reason why you saw me actually go in with the chopstick and swirl it so hopefully it got in there pretty well we will see but I can say this yesterday was the first time I used the true yellow from TKB and it did its job. This stayed yellow, it hasn't faded. I am actually in love with that color and I'm sure once I finish my other yellows, it will be the yellow of choice. Okay, so let's get our sample piece out of the way here. All right. And then let's get in to this. This is my Bees Knees Soap, and if you follow me on social media, you'll see I put the video out <laughs> stating that I named it Bees Knees, and, and yes, I have heard people say it's the Bees Knees, but I don't really know what that is, <laughs> what that really means, and where it came from. Okay, so that is our first one. Okay. It's uh, very interesting. The way that this, I can't, it's different. It's, um, look, cause you can see, I guess this is where I was able to get that swirl. And then look, it just like skipped this section and it's at the bottom. It's like an open space without color in it. It is different and I am feeling it. Okay, let's get some more. And I think all of them may be like this. Okay, let's see. Now that one, it goes down just a little bit, but it still has that, that little space right there with nothing in it. I like that. I know. Uh, I probably wouldn't be able to <laughs> repeat it to save my life. But this yellow, it definitely stayed yellow. And, um, you know, I got the flower side down to prevent any drag marks. And I still got one. <laughs> look, you can see one right there. But look at this piece. This is gorgeous, and it, especially because a lot of the color seems to be mainly on one side of the bar, and I didn't do it intentionally. I have another bar that I made um, some time ago where I did that on purpose. I didn't do it with this one, and I actually really like it. And I'm losing some of my little calendula petals here. They're collecting on my wire, so I'm gonna keep moving those out of the way. Okay, let me do another one and see if it kind of looks like the last one. I mean, you know, and that's part of the reason why I love soap. You just absolutely never know. I see that one, it has a little more swirls throughout, but you never ever know what you're going to get. I mean, you plan it for it, and sometimes it absolutely turns out exactly like you thought it would, but then the, there are those times where it absolutely fools you and um, it does something a little bit different, especially depending on how the soap behaves. Even when you have a, um, here we go, it's another piece. It is beautiful. I, I'm telling you guys, I am in love with this one. 
Um, even when you have that fragrance oil that, oh, I'm sorry, I keep stopping, but look how, look right here. It almost looks to me like a, um, a peacock, like they're a peacock's tail down there. I love that, you know. Um, you get a fragrance oil that says it's going to do A, B, C, and D, and then depending on your recipe, and it can do something completely different, but that's why I think soap is an art, and I, I absolutely love doing this. I'm a very artsy kind of person, always have been, have been very creative, and this has been the perfect outlet for me i am so glad that i found it and that i get to do this okay guys so i am going to continue to cut this and um i'll bring you back my last bar and yeah All right, guys, so here I am at the final cut here, and I am losing quite a bit of calendula here. And honestly, that's why I pack so many flowers on it when I make soaps, because quite a few always falls off. Y'all, oh, and here we go with this last cut, and look at that one. I am not mad at all at with this soap. I absolutely love it. And again, I know I say that about all of my soaps, <laughs> but this one um, is one of my favorites, particularly because of the yellow. I've had so many yellows and they always um, sort of fade out and they start looking a little beige um, the next day as I cut it and as it cures. And at least for now, this one, has stayed a true yellow and I I absolutely love uh, this so that is it for me um, does it look like a bee it's yellow and black so you know so I'm, I'm gonna say yes I, I think I did exactly what I set out to do <laughs> guys give me tell me what you think about down below about this this color and um yeah definitely give the video a thumbs up if you like this soap and don't forget follow me on instagram and facebook at betty and brenda bath p-r-o-d so betty and brenda betty and brenda bath prod is my instagram and my facebook page definitely check me out there and um subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and i guess i will chat with you guys next week.